Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be things I've been loving lately. A lot of these things are random so if you want to hear what I've been loving then just keep on watching. The month of March has been very chaotic for me and I have just have gone through a lot of changes right now with work and so I'm hoping one of these days hopefully March or April will be a better month for me and I can get back to saving money and working towards being financially stable and whatnot but so i'm gonna start with makeup because i love makeup you probably can't tell that i'm wearing any because of my ring light but turn it down a notch yeah so i'm wearing my royal blue eyeliner that i love so much it's bringing my princess diana vibes out and i'm wearing my nars orgasm blush and these two products are the first favorites this is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I just love it so much. It is the perfect pinky tone for my cheeks right now. It's just, and it makes me look a little more flush than usual and I am able to make it like tone down a little bit so it looks fine because sometimes you can definitely overdo it with a pink blush. So I know NARS is expensive, but this, there's a reason why this this blush is the number one and it has been the number one blush for literally like 20 years um so yeah i'm loving this blush still i think i talked about it last month but this is what it looks like it looks very like hot pink almost purpley on camera but it's very lightweight and you can build it up and it's just a pretty corally pink color um and it's perfect for my skin tone and i'm loving it so um, the next thing is my favorite ride or die chapstick. I have been using it for about, I want to say three years now, and I just cannot stop buying it. And I will probably use this for the rest of my life, and it's the Aquaphor brand. This is in the little tubes. Get this one for my chap to use as my chapstick. So the only place you can get this Aquaphor is in the lotion aisle in the Aquaphor section. Um, and I advise you to get this one with this cap over the lip treatment because the lip treatment has like sunscreen and it does not help heal my lips at all so i've been heavily relying on this one so much also just the regular big tube ointment tube i use that too i have a big one by my bed so that's really great as well but i just am so dependent on this just because it's the great the greatest chapstick ever and it just keeps my lips so moisturized because I've been needing it lately. I've really been needing it so bad. Last like hygiene product is my Old Spice Wilderness Deodorant. This is a lavender one. And I am so happy Old Spice came out with this one. Because I feel like this lavender one is for the girls. This is for the women that want to use Old Spice deodorant. Because it lasts so long. I don't know what they have, what they put in men's deodorant compared to women's deodorant, but men's deodorant lasts so much longer than women's. The best scent ever for women if you want to use a good deodorant, Old Spice Wilderness. It's literally a lavender smelling deodorant. This is my second one. Now let's get on to the random things. I have not been reading a lot lately just because... I've had two books on my list for like the last two months and it's taken me forever to read them but I finally finished one of them. The one that I finished is Den of Vipers and this is by K.A. Knight and let me tell you this is a hefty book. If I wasn't so busy with work I would have read this in probably three to four days to be honest but literally it's taken me over a month to read. This is good. I read this on my Kindle just because I did not want to ruin ruin the book like this is paperback and I kind of wish I got the hardcover because this is so flimsy and already starting to mess up but this book is so spicy I five out of five stars for the spicy content the love scenes that I've always wanted it's in this book it is in this book there are a few triggers though if you are interested in reading this book make sure you read the trigger warning because there are things that could trigger people or just bring back bad memories or trauma so um just make sure you really look into this before picking this book up but if you need some if you need a book that is so spicy that you are literally screaming out loud this is it 
this book right here. So for the next book, I am currently reading this one. I'm going to finish the day, this today because I'm literally almost done. This is the Menendez Brothers Murders. Like, like what? Their whole murder and everything going on with these brothers is so crazy. I was so interested in this. Saw it on YouTube. Like I went down the rabbit hole watching their, the whole documentation, their trial and everything. And one of the brothers has a YouTube channel. Isn't that insane? His wife like records them talking and then she posts them on YouTube. So it's really interesting to say the least. So I saw that they had this book at Barnes and Noble. So I had to pick it up right away because I did not know they had a book. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving this book. And it's not really triggering for me, which is really good because the Ted Bundy one triggered me so bad. I was so emotional. I was honestly very depressed reading it after everything that Ted Bundy like talked about in his interview crazy but I do want to read it again. I'm really loving this book. This is by Robert Rand. You can tell I'm getting a lot of use of it. It's been in my back work backpack for literally the whole month and I'm just ready to finish it so I can get on to another book. Really struggle at reading more than one book at once so I just really want to finish this book. I really like this book a lot. Probably gonna look into more like actual crime murder books. Okay I'm like almost halfway through but I can finish it. So yeah, good book. If you guys want to really look into the Menendez murders, check out the book. I, trust me, I did have everything planned out for this video, but now that I look at my list, it's not what I wanted to share. So my hands have been so dry. My whole body has been dry. Um, so I get the Gold Bond Medicated Eczema Relief Skin Cream. This is so good. I also really like the Diabetics one, um, but this one has been really good for me right now. So this is the one lotion that I get. I really can't. So this one is just an eczema relief. It relieves five symptoms. Redness, irritation, itchiness, dryness, dryness, roughness, scaling, and peeling. This has worked great for me because I really do have a lot of redness and itchiness and dryness and irritation. <laughs> like I literally have four of those symptoms right now during the winter and I've been loving it a lot. Yeah, this has worked wonders. Another random thing is the Roku glow-in-the-dark remote covers. We have lost our Roku remotes literally every single day we go to watch TV. So then I went on Amazon to see if there were like covers or something because I saw a post on Facebook that said there are Roku glow-in-the-dark covers. So I went to Amazon and found them and this is the one I have for, for our bedroom. It's a neon green remote cover. It glows in the dark and I love that. I have not lost this remote since and it's been almost two months. Great, 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 great bang for your buck. I highly recommend the remote covers if you have a Roku stick and you tend to lose them, look them up. I believe it was like $8.99 for a pack of two. We have a blue one, blue cover, and then this neon green cover and they're really great. So love it so much. So this is going to be a, what is it called? A something mention. A honorable mention, the Kurt Cobain journals. It took me literally a whole month to read this because this book affected me a lot. It made me sad, depressed, and I really felt like I was going through all the emotions with him. Even though he doesn't really go into like much, the things he talks about, I just really felt so deeply and I really connected with him to the point where I had dreams about him. <laughs> An honorable mention is Kurt Cobain's journal. I got this at Barnes & Noble. I'm pretty sure you can pick it up anywhere. Barnes & Noble. There's a bunch of book places online. Even Amazon might have it. So I highly recommend this. This one is definitely going in to my collection. We have to talk about it. We just do. Stanley Cups. Why? <laughs> Why am I so obsessed with these? I don't know. Like I don't watch TikTok much. But ever since I bought my first one, I've been obsessed. So this is the new... <laughs> green one that I ordered. I literally have three green, green ones. This one came out for St. Patty's Day and I love it a lot. It's a 30 ounce and it's just really great. So I drink this during the day at home and this sage green one, I drink this at work and I just love this one so much. This is the silicone, 40 ounces. It lasts all day for me at work. I'm obsessed, but I'm done buying Stanley Cup. Unless they come out with a beautiful yellow one, then I'll buy one. But I'm literally done buying Stanley Cups. I have four of them. 
and I'm satisfied. I'm, li <laughs> I'm literally so satisfied now. So I recommend these to you guys. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any favorites you'd like to chat about with me in the comments, leave them down below and we'll chat because I, you know I love to chat in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,